Exactly. So there's a bit of a bubble in the beginning. And while there's something to be said for this phase, it does not last. And when phase three hits, it hits hard. With every single fiber of my being, I regret taking on this experiment. Hey everybody, hope you're all doing really well today. For today's video, we're gonna take a look at a show that in my opinion, defies a lot of the fat logic we see in the TikToks we watch. Let's play make-believe for a second. Let's pretend that the word fat and the word unhealthy are synonymous. They are interchangeable and they mean exactly the same thing, even though they don't. The show is called From Fit to Fat to Fit. The entire premise of the show was a lot to wrap my head around at first. So to get oriented, here is how the creator described his goal with the project or social experiment, however you would classify this. I'm Drew Manning. As a personal trainer, I failed again and again to help my heaviest clients get fit. So I went on a journey to discover what it's like to be fat. I've gained 75 pounds. I developed a fatty liver and the kidneys of an alcoholic. Getting fit again was the hardest thing I've ever done. Now trainers from across the country are participating in the most extreme weight loss experiment ever. They're trying to gain as much weight as they can and then lose it with their clients. We're both in this now. Yeah, just the idea of having fitness professionals with the knowledge to establish a healthy lifestyle who are reaping the rewards of one, deciding to get fat and unhealthy for a TV show was pretty shocking to me. Uh, that's That seems like a fundamentally bad idea. The aim of the show is to prove that you can lose the weight, you can change your lifestyle, but consequently, we're also exposed to the effort it takes to put on the weight to begin with. I think that part's important, especially in terms of the fat acceptance movement and their campaign to neutralize all food, mystify calories, nutrients, distinguish weight gain from the act of consuming more food. I got a little bit sucked into the show, watched a few episodes, and of course noticed that the journey to getting fat and losing the weight looked really similar for everybody. So let's take a look at the process. Here we go. Phase one is the nervous excitement phase. The trainer meets the client and they get a feel for their lifestyle so they have an idea of what to emulate. I don't love food. I love junk, sweets, candy. It makes me happy when I eat it, happier than food. <laughs> So this is supposed to be about establishing trust and proving that they're really going to attempt to put themselves in their client's shoes for this process. Because I have to gain weight for the next four months. <laughs> That's weird. And then okay. lose it with you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you're like in shock. Yeah, it, when you see me again, I'm gonna look a little different. I'm not gonna be this fly, okay? <laughs> He's talking about gaining a serious amount of weight and in a short amount of time. It sounds like fun work, but I'm a little surprised that he's willing to go through so much uh, just for my benefit. He's gonna be a hard guy to, to change. Now the trainers have met their clients, the goals have been explained, and we're ready for phase two, the maybe this is gonna be fun phase. Repeatedly, I noticed that when the trainers began to ease up on all their restrictions and indulge in the junk foods, there's of course an initial shock to the system, but then they get that rush and the pleasure responds and start to actually enjoy the junk foods. I can see how you can get hooked on this next crap. I have been very disciplined. Now it's like, okay, I can be like everybody else. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty delicious. And not only that, but initially a lot of the trainers notice social benefits as well. I hate to say it, but I'm actually like, you know, finding out that it is okay to just, you know, loosen up and, and, and let go a little bit. Their friends or partners feel more connected to them and they're feeling more relaxed to eat and drink socially. So there's a bit of a bubble in the beginning. 
And while there's something to be said for this phase, it does not last. And when phase three hits, it hits hard. With every single fiber of my being, I regret taking on this experiment. Now we're at phase three, the how do people live like this phase. We see our trainers getting moody, tired, grumpy, physically uncomfortable. I feel absolutely horrible. I feel like I'm about to burst from every opening that I have at any moment. A lot of whipped cream. Try not to throw up. Some of them start to have trouble with their close relationships as a result of the dramatic shifts in their mood or energy. We start seeing them force feed. The foods that they were initially enjoying are now miserable, but they still need to gain the weight on their timeline. My confidence has definitely taken a hit. Definitely. They advise that the contestants are heavily monitored throughout this entire process. So we're watching the labor required for them to gain weight. But there's nothing easy about living unhealthy. I am so tired. My attitude is different. My energy is different. I'm just over it all. It is not effortless. The fat does not find them even when they're seeking it. It requires a caloric surplus in combination with a sedentary lifestyle for every trainer we watch put on this weight. Just over feeling bad physically, over knowing that the next day is just going to be the same. This sucks. I can't do when we make it to phase four, our trainers get reintroduced to their clients and their new bodies. How you feel? <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe that you did this to yourself. <sighs> Why did it for you? <sighs> Cow, man. Oh. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh my man. God, look at you. I know, look at this. You're like a legit fat guy now, you know, not trying to offend you, <laughs> but you're one of us now, you know, like we're kind of twinsies. <laughs> They prove that they did the hard work of putting on the weight. So now the real fun starts for both of them, getting back into shape. This is a challenge for both of them, but generally I notice the clients struggling more with adapting the new healthier lifestyle than the trainers did adapting the unhealthy lifestyle. Well, that went the opposite direction by a lot. What do you think happened? Either the scale was off last week or it's off this week or something. Like that. It makes sense. Those foods are designed to be addicting, so getting hooked is definitely easier. Once both client and trainer start working out again, they obviously begin to feel the rewards. Blood's flowing and you got that pump going on and it just feels like, man, finally, I'm alive again. And it's a unique experience because for the trainers, this is usually their first time trying to get back into shape from such an unhealthy weight and diet. It really does seem to make the difference in the connection for not only them, but the people that they're trying to help. How much harder is it now to do that with the weight on? Oh, it's a lot harder. It's why my legs feel weak. It's why my heart rate's racing so far. I mean, 55 pounds is, is insane. Corey was sweating, he was slower, he was breathing harder. It's a lot of weight to move with, a whole lot of weight for anybody, trainer or not. So at least I know he understands where I'm coming from. This getting back into shape phase usually does end on a high note. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> the clients reach their goals and the trainers make it back to where they started. I think I only saw one where the client didn't make it. It's always really nice to watch people accomplish their goals, especially when you know that they're truly adding to the quality of their life by achieving them. Over the course of the experiment, Jason lost a total of 54 pounds. Johnny lost a total of 59 pounds. More importantly, they changed their lives and plan to continue their weight loss journey. And every time you make a good choice, that's a victory. And if you can just compound those victories every single day and continue to make good choices, <laughs> that is so powerful. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So that is basically it. That is from fit to fat to fit. 
the show where people get fat on purpose to demonstrate that what you eat and how much you move actually does have an effect on body composition and overall health. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. I really would love to see the fat acceptance community react to this show. I'm sure it's just a fat phobic nightmare to them, but I'm still curious what they have to say. Let me know your thoughts on the show down below. Do you think it's a terrible idea, interesting idea? I'm curious to hear some other people's opinions on this. Thank you so much for coming to hang out on this video with me. It's pretty different from anything I've done so far, so I would love any feedback. Next video is going to be another TikTok compilation, so everyone take care until then.